What's up guys, it's Harwin and I'm out here inside my kitchen to take on one of my favorite dishes to eat, la na. It's a fast stir fried noodle dish consisting of your choice of meat, your choice of vegetables, and ladled off with this thick pork gravy. And this right here is what makes La Na the dish that it is. A super thick sweet pork gravy containing egg whites and ginger. And it has this stew-like consistency. He's crazy. He's crazy. What? What's up guys? I'm out here in my kitchen in quarantine right now. But yo, I got some home cooking going on. I got my mama's famous La Na baby girl. You know my situation. Cause yo, I'm about to go eat like crazy right now. Yo, I got my spices going on on top of right there. Got my spicy peppers, got my Chinese broccoli, shrimp, squid, and that nice thick pork gravy going on. Yo, let's get it. Bang. Get thick. Get thick. That shit really thick. thick. That shit thick. Thick, fast stir fried noodles. Rice noodles. Mmm. Got some that are soft. Some that are a little bit crispy. All coming together with the soy sauce, the dark soy sauce, the egg, and the crispiness from the skillet. My ugly ass sister in the background ruined this video. I'm in the video? Oh, oh no. that sister too, ugly as hell, ruining the video. But yeah, don't mind my hair right now. I know I look crazy, but hey, there's no barbershops open right now. <coughs> you got my curled up squid right there. Mm. So the the gravy itself, I like I like my lana spicy. I like everything spicy. So I added things like a sriracha in there, red pepper flakes, uh, cayenne pepper, a little bit of paprika uh, to give it a little bit of spice content in my broth. The gravy I believe adds such a a level of flavor that in many dishes, not just Thai food, not just Asian food, but in food in general, is very complex. Um, I know when. I, I show people this this dish in general when I go out to eat with them. It's like once you go to Latna, you never go back. So yeah, this is the dish that will probably change your life, probably change your outlook on a lot of uh, Asian food. Much. Also, what you saw what I ate right there, the Chinese broccoli is very very bitter. The only reason why. I opt out and don't get the stems too much is because sometimes the bitterness which you know a lot of people love it is very overpowering but I get a little bit of the, the stem then a lot of the green leafy part which which plays very very well with the sweetness of the broth so when it comes down to noodle dishes this this is top tier for me. I mean, I love my I love my pho, I love my kopiak, but yeah, just 
the thickness of the gravy, the texture of the noodles, you know, crispy, then soft. Then the add-ons, you know, of pork, you could have chicken, you could have seafood, you could have scallops in here. There's no no boundaries when it comes to making your dish. Then you can make it as spicy as you want and however many vegetables you want, which I think is very unique. Uh, the gravy gets so thick is because in the middle of the process of ranking the broth, uh, you actually add soy sauce, then cornstarch to thicken it. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is big snails going on right here, boy. Big snails, big conch. Uh, conch is something that you find in the deep, deep ocean lemongrass sticking out of there uh, a lot of ginger and it's just a it's just like a weird mixture of conch uh, chopped up conch it's like a conch stuffing and this they gave us this lime fish sauce garlic Thai chili pepper type of sauce kind of like a Laotian gel uh, to dip with it so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out Mm, this is an awesome dish, awesome snack to eat. Um, I definitely would love to eat this with something like sticky rice right now. I think it will co complement it really well. This sauce isn't too overpowering either, not too spicy. Uh, very, very refreshing. It's caramelized crispy layer on the top, but then the inside, you get this nice moist mixture crazy seafood concoction in the shell complex I'm eating the heart of the sea <laughs> damn Jesus eat good hug your loved ones eat different shit you probably won't eat shit I'm eating so fucking seafood life right now but yeah on that note Goodbye. I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned for my next video, whether it be a food or a fashion video. But hey, I'm out, baby. Mmm. <laughs>